G'day and welcome back to the Curious Run Petition. Last time we went on the first two expeditions with Roald Amundsen. I'm going for a high animal, low human count this time round. And this time we're going to the Arctic. We are super good at the Arctic. We should go there all the time, every time. I mean, come on. We are Roald Amundsen. We are, like, well known as a famous Ant Arctic and Antarctic explorer. Full of anticipation, I hurried to the harbour. The captain had yet to arrive, so I skimmed some stones on the water. Not long after my arrival, the scientist approached me. He was keen to obtain the mysterious box. We handed over the box. The scientist was relieved we had found it and stored it in his bag with undue care. Open the re obtain the reward. I was handed new funds to reward our deeds. A merchant proposed an interesting offer. He asked me to acquire a mysterious idol that could be found in a village. Yep, sure, we will do that. We could totally get more people, but I don't want them. That's fine. So we will just leave those recruits behind and we can purchase things. Um, which probably would be a good idea. Uh, like, for instance, we totally need more chocolate. Um, and snowshoes probably wouldn't go amiss, but I think we're fine on that. Uh, we don't need many of the other pieces of, of equipment, though torches would also be good. But first, animal improvement. So we can improve our dog. Yes, doggo. Okay, and then purchase equipment. Okay, a tent might be quite helpful for us. It's actually something that I've been pretty bad at using, so let's do that. We'll get a tent, we'll get a couple of torches, and we'll get chocolate. And we can't go into debt, so we'll get three chocolate, and it's a deal. Now let us set sail! Alrighty, here we are in the frozen north. Let us begin. This time we are not leaving anything behind. So here's one of the first places we're going to go. Uh, so we will head down this way. Okay. Um, let's go down here. Again, just trying to not use limited resources where I can avoid it. Okay, so I guess... Here. Here. Ah. There, there, it's worth the extra sanity to make these slight detours, I feel, to avoid using my boots. Okay, sand surrounding the structure. Investigate the altar, take the valuable things, and keep going as this area quickly becomes a desert. So we explore this way, and then we head down this way. Okay, visit the station. Such a big station must have been operated by a large group, but I was greeted only by the Ashen Man. For some queer reason, he asked me about tickets. We sat down for tea inside, and Axe was stuck in one of the walls. Very bad for the blade. He kept muttering to himself. It was quite disturbing. So we can trade here for supplies. Um, so if we trade our voodoo dolls, what can we get in return? We can get some canned food, which is not great, but also not terrible. Uh, we can get more tickets. Um, I don't think we need to do that just yet. So get some camp food. Do we want anything else? Um, no, I think I'll just get a ton of canned food. So we've got supplies. And then we're going to use the dog sled to get to the other station. I basically do this as soon as I can because it's a super convenient way of exploring an area. And then you get out, and you're further down. Hopefully you've found more things that you can f look for. And, um, actually, before we do anything... Ah! No, no! Oh, fine. I wanted to check what they had to trade, but I screwed up, and I will pay for that. Got another shrine. A layer of sand. Investigate the altar. Necronomicon and a golden dagger. I will take both of these things. And then, we can basically go north right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back here. And there's a reason for this. And that is, if we visit the station, we can get ourselves... Firstly, we can rest to preserve our sanity. 
But also, we can uh, trade for some of that uh, water here. Because we... I, I suddenly have predict that we will need some water. Uh, so let's see. If I were to trade anything, what would I do? I could trade snowshoes for water at a one to one rate. Or I could trade these for like 10 of this. Yeah, that seems like a good deal. It's a deal. Also, I'm going to rest. That takes one ticket and gives us 30 sanity. And you know what? We'll use another ticket. I, one thing I keep doing is I keep buying more tickets than I need. Because frankly, it's not that necessary to get that many tickets. Okay, explore here, examine loot, the hunt owners must be out hunting. Well, they now don't have as much stuff. Sucks to be them. And let's go this way. And, oh. Uh, we've got ourselves a stone circle. Yes. Let's do that. Let's reveal... Settlements or camp? Settlements. We need that village. Oh, you're kidding me. It's over there. Of course it is. Okay. Let's see. Got that camp food. We can get to here. Okay, um, let's go all the way this way, shall we? And then we can try and work things out from there. Oh god, we're gonna fight so many arctic wolves now. Yep, they attack. My animals! You monsters. Okay. Observation is terrible. Puff it. Stra claw it. Stable position. Claw. Okay, what are you. Ah, oh, right, yes. So, firstly, taunt. One dog is taunting. I guess these two can observe. And we'll kill one. Shoot the other and round. Poor dog. Poor everything. That's so mean. Claw it. Strong defense or tactical advantage with a little bit of defense. <sighs> Claws. Shotgun, wolf is dead, take its stuff, take its stuff, and then we should be able to do something, but... Um, finish eating nose, we need to get kind of this way if we can. Uh, also, level her. Yeah, look at that. And we're back after a... Oh. Not a brief break, really. All right, let's see what we can do. We should fight people. Let us, uh, well, we, and by should, I think, I really mean we have to fight people. So, uh, you're injured, you're injured, you're in, you're not injured, you're not injured, you're not injured. Hopefully, we can deal with the wolf and we'll rest up straight after. Okay, round one, fight! Sh uh, shotgun, boom! You claws! Faint! Stun both of them. She's got the shield, defend, and round. So they basically get one die. And it does a lot of damage. Oh god. Rip a leap! Oh yeah, definitely. So that's one down. Come on. Quick shot. Strong claws. And that's it. Now you get to attack, you get to really hurt someone. 
but we kill you this time around. Boom! Take that, dog. And then we take your shit. And we kind of continue on this way. New region discovered. Okay, we can head down here. Okay. So there's something up here which is unfortunate because we can't get up there. We'll eat our terrible canned food and we will head to this village. So they're not super happy. Uh huh. And they also want me to go away. Okay, I wanted to check something. Yeah, I need to obtain an idol from said village. Perfect. Hmm. Not much I can do about that right now. I'm going to set up a tent and rest. Enter camp. Rest overnight. And it looks like um, a mushroom damaged our baggage handler's eyes. That's a real pity. Okay. Um, we'll rest overnight again. Some villages were always close by, yeah? Okay. Now I've rested a bit. Let us leave. Enter the village. Tell us to leave again. Fine, we'll enter our camp and we'll pack it up. So yeah, this is all costing us speed. And there's no way I can get that. <sighs> That's a pity. Alright, we'll go here. Explore the cave. We could explore in darkness. But that's silly because we got torches. So we will then investigate these mummies. No, actually we... Alright, we will. And we'll loot and we will leave those mummies behind. I'm not... So mummies are a tough fight and I do not want to risk them, you know, waking up and then getting ticked at me. So what's up here? Nothing. What I find weird is we haven't even revealed anything. Thank you! Hazel's wound is looking bad. Okay, I'm willing to bet that this is where we need to go eventually. We've got three chocolate, and it's actually quite painful to get up there. And I think I'd rather get there and get going with the meager treasures we have on hand than do anything else. So that's what I'm going to do. Up we go. Nope, I was wrong. Curses. And everyone's wounded. Rest overnight. Okay. I really don't know where to go now. Oh, hey, excellent. Our, the hot springs cured our wounds. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is so good. So glad to see that. Leave. Okay. Uh, pay tribute as compensation. Deny. Okay, we got. What's this? This is about a. Um, oh, it's not 50. Okay, it's 50 or one third. Uh, you know what? We got a bunch of meat that we can't really use anyway. So take your meat and go away. Might as well keep a little bit as. Uh, trade fodder. And good, you're gone. Leave us alone. Oh no, not like this freaking. Okay. Aha, we found a portal. Awesome. Yes, I want to do this. This portal allows us access to an odd location. Yes. So this is basically access to a mini zone that you otherwise would not get to see. Also, reset standing where we go, so this is fantastic. Let's do this thing. 
So we're gonna pop here. If I get to hire someone here, I will absolutely do that. Okay, these springs I don't care about. So let's uh, head down here. What? I didn't... Did not say head down there. Really? What happened? I don't get it. Okay, fine. We've got to explore these springs and rest overnight. And uh, turns out we now are traveling with the pirate. Perfect. Fine. Leave and head here. This is where I said to go in the first place. So we examine this place and we can loot items left by the oh, for the gods. Uh, and a fire is set. Perfect. Because, yeah. Oh. Oh, even better. I'm so annoyed by that um, weird navigation thing. I don't understand what happened there. Okay. Compass? Where the heck are we meant to be going? Seriously? We, I mean, currently we're coming last. Uh, where is the compass, actually? Like, can't see it. It can't be there, so. I honestly do not see the compass at all right now. Weird. Ah, okay, I found it. Found where we are going. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rest here. I don't care that we're basically running super late now because we don't have the operation uh, uh, opportunity to do so. And we'll try and separate. One could cut the tension with a button knife as we rested by the fireplace. Diarumo's mental condition had gotten the better of him. He suffered from nightmares. It caused him to scream and shout at the night. And we failed to separate. And they left. Ah. All right. Well, that is a pain in the ass. We're gonna rest overnight again. Oh, hello. Uh, we got the smoking Kamala Sileju, who is a native shaman. We will totally have that. Um, and also share their goods. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, into camp. Rest overnight. And um, have nightmares about the traveling companion that ran away. Okay. Now we'll pack up said camp. Um, and what we can do is we can dismount. And so we are now only three items overburdened. We will use this mushroom so we can see further. Great. Yep, definitely. That's where we need to go. Um, now we're two items overburdened. We will throw away the meat. Now we are one item overburdened. So what can we throw away? Let's throw away this torch. Simple, really. And now we can head this way. After all that, we finally found the place we needed to go. And it's here, and we found it, and hopefully we haven't forgotten anything important. Hooray, we found a, mar a marvel of intellectual, intelligent endeavor. The Golden Pyramid was ours to reach. And we lost Kamasaleju. Just, we didn't even get an opportunity to recruit. We just lost it, lost them straight up. We came third, finished our expedition. Well done, us. So brave. Lone survivor, survive a little bit longer when alone, or. Uh, charismatic, which allows us to recruit more people. I think at this point we should recruit more people. And we are definitely going to be slightly behind the lead, and we're going to lose some fame, so keep that in mind. But we can gift both of these. Gift, gift, uh, gift. Okay. Now we need some money. So, sell, sell, sell. You know what? Yeah, we'll just, I mean, we're still going to be ahead at the end of this, so yeah. We'll just uh, sell off all of our horn, uh, teeth. Actually, no, we're going to keep a little bit for trade fodder. Yes. 
Alright, until next time, we get a choice between three different locations. The drylands, we can go back to the Arctic, which is pretty tempting, because again, we're good at the Arctic, even if it didn't seem that way. Uh, or we can go to the drylands or the desert. Until next time, have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.